unlike in males. In males, it is 18 to 25 centimeters. Bacteria is to travel all that long. Eh? But in females, the bacteria, the common uh, bacteria that we find in the vagina, it is E. coli. Escherichia coli. It is the commonest bacteria that we find in the vagina. Now, it is the most notorious bacteria. You have to maintain high degree of hygiene. So clinically, how will you present if you get the infection? Some of us ladies, eh? some of us ladies, I'm not a lady, but today I'm one of you. Ladies, some of us, you usually experience pain, eh? a bigger percentage. Pain, eh? but the pain ranges, some of them usually range up pain from one to ten. One, nearly pain kidogo, you can, you can manage, you can do your activities, but then you cannot even go to class. You cannot go, you, you cannot even go to work. Okay? So, you know what kind of pain? See what? A lot of pain. Sometimes, the, the bleeding can be very, very heavy. See what? For some, it is normal. But for some, it is abnormal. You can change even three, five to seven parts a day, fully soaked. That is a problem, eh? If you're not keen enough, if you're getting a uh, recurrent UTI, it is not a good thing. Because uh, remember, she said uh, sometimes the service is open and those bacteria can go, can move up and it, it, they can affect your reproductive system. Let me tell you something. UTI, it is one of the leading problems for miscarriages. UTI, about 95% of the miscarriages that take place is because of UTI. So you have to be very keen to do our cleanliness during menses. Do, do we usually take medication for the pain? We usually take medication, eh? For the pain. Yeah, you are not supposed to feel pain, but after ukija kuna you are not supposed to take to feel pain. During those times, you are supposed to take some medication to relieve the pain. But sometimes, uh, there is a problem. You are supposed to do a certain investigation so that you can know where the problem is coming from. See what? Yeah, you can do ultrasound or something like that. When the bleeding is heavy, if the menses are very, very heavy, you are supposed to, to see a doctor. Okay? You're supposed to see a doctor for medication and you're supposed to see a doctor for investigations, both laboratory investigations and imaging investigations so that you can solve that problem. How do we usually dispose our parts? I'm in nurses, I'm in class, and I have three parts in my kipochi. The one that I'm wearing, I'm coming in here. I'm coming in here. You are supposed to go to the toilets, yeah. to the washrooms, eh? you go to the washrooms. Some of us, they, we remove the pad and we put another one without cleaning our genitalias. Is it true? That is very wrong. You are supposed to have something, a tissue or something, uh, a wipe. After removing that pad, you expose it with, 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 in female washrooms. They are usually, we usually have those things, eh? the yellow ones, eh? with the yellow lining inside. So usually, you are supposed to, to dispose that, that part in that bin. You see, two people in the toilet, that is very wrong. That bin, because that bin, will, someone will come and collect it, and they know how to properly dispose those parts. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. We will pay you a visit one time at Nairobi Women Hospital and talk more one-on-one. -on -one. So I want to say to appreciate our guests, girls and the young men who are seated here. I want to send you out there. Tell your colleagues, anytime you are called to a gathering, kindly come. When I was growing up, someone told me, never despise a messenger. Ukisikia mtu ametumwa koko, do not despise a messenger. Maybe go and listen, you can despise a message. Usende na kama nigeenda nikamsikiza, hiyo misari kumibamba. But don't refuse to go and hear. 
when uh, Caleb the MC was asking him, Kona was trying to come on Gapi, and I was telling him there are about 6,000. Can you imagine a mekuja when you are meona? You may never know what he had. Any other time you're called, make it a point to where it's here. You may never know. You may never know what that messenger may come with. Otherwise, with those many remarks, so first and foremost, we wish to appreciate our mighty God, our creator, the giver, sustainer, and restorer of life. Were well, it not for him, we will not be here today. It is a privilege. It is not a right. It is not everyone who slept uh, last night is alive this morning. It is not everyone who woke up who is well today. We thank God for that. We thank him for the gift of life for this day, even for bringing people of goodwill to come and start with us. Secondly, I wish to appreciate the management of the Med National Polytechnic. It is by their allowing us to be here that we are here. They knew that we were planning this thing, they supported us, they gave us ideas, and like you have seen, even the chief principal was called from somewhere where he was working to come and be with us. In absentia, we thank them so much, uh, together with Madam Keremi, who is a Jeddah champion, and Mr. Nana, who is in charge of academics, for getting us. To our invited guests, we sincerely are so happy that you honored our call, you heeded, you came and you came in a big way. To them that have left, to them that have sat through, we sincerely appreciate you. May God bless you, may God increase you, may He do you good. The organizing committee, led by our able uh, lady, uh, Madam Dasheri, who is the coordinator, gender mainstreaming. And all the other offices that came in, the dean's office, the meeting office, and everyone who came in to make the day a success, uh, we thank you so much, feel appreciated.